Hello everyone, just want to let you know that we've got several cool watch faces uh, for Tag Hoya connected smartwatch. So the first one is Hoya 02T, uh, second one is Mirage, and the third one is Prism, and lastly the fourth is Porsche 2. So if you were to scroll down and click on the first one, which is the Hoya 02T, these are the colorful options you can have. So first one, second one, bluish one, orange one. And if you scroll down, uh, this, these are the styles. So this is based on the temperature, UV level, and color combination. So if I were to, were to click on this one, it's kind of like a rainbowy. Second one, similar, but a bit more bluey or uh, red, I would say, not orange, sorry. <laughs> Green, gray, and a bit of a darkest sort of rainbowy effect. And you can actually go for the complication of uh, chronograph and digital. So the Mirage, if you click on it, um, no sort of special function at all, uh, but we got this red, uh, sorry, blue, red, and green options. So these are the, oh, and the black as well. Uh, third one, the Prism, it's a bit more sort of um, solid color feel of it. We got the blue, darker blue, um, red, uh, darker reddish and sort of a um, few more color options that are really cool okay and lastly that could be one of my favorite which is Porsche 2 we only have the option of chronograph or um, digital version but you can actually uh, choose the theme color of these various uh, options indeed now for the Hoya 02T, we got the tourbillon sort of effect, which is really cool. Uh, so if we were to see on the option itself, how we can change it. Yeah, this is really cool. Probably this is going to be my new favorite. Indeed, if you were to scroll up, there's this temperature option. So I think it, when it gets hotter, it gets more redder sort of effect. Um, similarly, for the UV index, it gets redder for the UV level going up and sort of um, darker when it goes down. Uh, second one, third one, sorry, is the rainbow that we just gone through early on. This is a bit more rainbow color. Actually, these are not bad if you think about it. If I were to click on here, it has various colors and it's really cool. Um, and it really does stand out. So if we were to change some other colors indeed within the function. So the next one is the blue, red, green, blue-ish, lastly the purple-ish. So that's how it looks like. So the next one is Mirage watch face. So if we were to go through the colors, again, there are blue, red, like ruby red, I would say green, uh, sort of black. And then if you were to scroll next, you can actually choose the color of the Dialer with this like green or so sort of yellowy, orangey, and red, and so on. Okay, so for that example, this is how it looks like. Which I have to say, one on the uh, power saver, so sort of sleep mode, it looks much cooler because you can see all these sort of um, details. It kind of reminds me of Mercedes Benz kind of look as well. So next one is um, Prism actually. So this is like a purple-ish. These are the color combination you could go for. Again, there's several different colors like blue, greenish, reddish, purple, um, sort of dark blue, and so on. You can actually change the complications as well with several different colors and then the design of complications as well. Last one is Porsche 2. So if we were to click on the settings, so these are the uh, color combinations that you could go for the yellow, red, uh, sort of blue, green, another yellowish, white, blue, and quite a lot of different colors as well but to match with my strap I guess I have to go for the yellowish one and that's all good to go. So if you were to ask me I would say my favorite is the Hoya 02T which has the tourbillon effect. Now the downside of obviously is that 
For the digital version, you got one less of an extra screen function. If you see what I mean, um, I do like the rainbow color ish uh, because it really stands out, but you can always look into change in these special options as well, which this watch face only has, which is the UV index and the temperature as well. So if we were to click on that, it's sort of green at the moment because it's in the morning, but if it goes up the temperature, it will turn to red-ish um, and so on. I was rather surprised with the Mirage version. I mean, when it goes to the standby mode or sleeping mode, the watch face looks really cool. I mean, it does look like a default, uh, not a standby sort of look. It has all these details and so on. So Mirage might actually be my second best option indeed. So I hope this video helped you understand what are the new watch faces for Tag Heuer connected smartwatch. And I have to say Tag Heuer, they really do produce cool looking watch faces. And I'm so glad uh, despite I had this more than two years still to own one and it's really a money worth to own a smartwatch uh, from Tag Heuer called Connected. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Have a lovely day. All the best. Bye bye.